Welcome viewers to Bodrum Turkey. Quick question for you. To do with money, what do we use? Euros, Turkish Lira, even Sterling. And I've got another question to ask you. I've just been out at a Michelin Guide restaurant. Let's go. Okay, so I've been getting lots of comments on the Turkey videos asking Kevin what cash should I bring, what's the best cash to use. I'm going to give you my experience of being here. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. I've just come out of that restaurant there. Is it a Autantique or a Tantic? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Lovely restaurant, really busy. I could hardly get in it earlier on. Um, they're in the Michelin Star Guide restaurant that won some award. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, they didn't win it for their sirloin steak. That was pretty average. They've got homemade chips, were amazing, really, really good. I have got a quick question to ask you about this. All my Turkish viewers, even guys who are from Turkey, let me know what this is all about. Um, I was very unsure about this. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I had a meal last night in Goombe, at the Goombe Dragon. Staff are lovely in there, the Goombe Dragon. Uh, the wee Chinese chicken curry, it was quite nice. Um, I'd recommend it. So, I think they've got awards for, they do all sorts of different types of food in here. This is the back the back entrance of the restaurant. Jam packed the restaurant, staff are lovely, beer's good. The menu is extensive, so they're going to specialise in certain things. I just ordered a sirloin steak, which is about £22 in British money. Um, we'll talk about money in a minute. What should you pay in? Turkish lira, British money, euros, card, who knows. Um, I'll let you know in a minute what my thoughts are, okay? I've only been in Turkey, I'm only really here for two days, look how busy it is here. It's a very, very popular restaurant, this. Established in 1999. I'm actually going to recommend the restaurant because what I had was average, I thought. But I'm sure they do a lot of different things and you can see they're in the Michelin Guide. They've won some sort of award here. They do donor kebabs, they do all sorts of different stuff. I'm sure it's really nice. I've done a video here earlier on showing you where it was and I was speaking to the, the owners. They're really nice, really nice and friendly. Um, so, yeah, it looks a lovely place. There's a place in here. We shop in here. Look how busy it is down here. This is amazing. Let's walk right down, right? So, a lot of people say, Kevin, what do we bring currency wise um, to Turkey? You'll get different answers. You go into travel agents, you get different answers. Go online, you get different answers. I'll tell you my experience. The owners don't really care that much what you're paying with as long as you're paying, okay? Most of the places I've been in all accept cards. There is a few places that don't, but every place I've been in accepts cards. But I have seen a few people online saying that they don't accept cards. Most places do. Look how nice it is down here. Beautiful. That's just next to the hotel I was staying in the other night. Nice vibe down here, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. But I have got a query about this, right? So, guys from Turkey, let me know what's going on here. I got the bill there from that restaurant, right? And there was a charge for like 125 Turkish lira, which is about. That's roughly about three pounds. And I was like that to the guy, I was like, what's, the, what's that charge for? I was like, I don't even know what that's for. I was like, because the Sutherland steak was at 22 pounds, and two beers they came to just under eight pounds, which is fair enough for two big effies, that was fine. A nice restaurant, no complaints. But then there was a random charge for uh, 125, and I was like that, what's that for? And then he was like, tax? But it, on the bill it didn't say tax, it said I should have, I think I didn't take a picture of the bill, I should have put it. didn't say tax on the bill, so I was a bit confused. I was like tax. And then I actually remembered last night when I was in Goombe and I got a, the meal in the Goombe Dragon and I checked the picture I took because I, I posted it on Facebook saying it had a wee meal there. So I checked the picture that I took and uh, basically we walked down here and basically there was no tax on that bill. So so let me know what's going on here. How can there be tax on a bill in Bodrum and then two minutes down the road there's no tax in the bill in a restaurant in Goombe? What, what's going on here? I was like, tell me, tell me. I have not been subject to some sort of scam here. It was a genuine charge and maybe the place in Goombe did not charge me for it. I don't, I don't know. As I, sometimes you go to America and all that and there's all these numerous taxis that go on things, aren't there? You, 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 you can expect that. But I, I've been in a few places here. I've never, had, I've never been taxed for anything. So I was, I was like, what's that What's that for? I don't know if it was a tax, but I don't know. Anyway, let me know. But anyway, the burning question you want to know is, Kevin, what do we bring if we come to, if we come to Turkey, Bodrum or Goombe? Now, I can only give you my experience, okay? I've exchanged rates. I, I, do you know the easiest way to do it? Is buying a beer. So, beer's up near the bar here. You got a big, large beer for 100 Turkish lira, right? Which is roughly 
about £2.50, maybe even slightly less, depends on the exchange rate. Exchange rate at the moment is about 41 Turkish Lira to a pound. So roughly, it's about £2.50. Now, if you pay... Hello. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Scotland. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boys get their cars back there, enjoying yeah. themselves there. Okay. <laughs> There's one that came up, oh, live music in here in the tunnel, I'll maybe be in there in a wee second, or check out what it's like. There's not many bars of live music, there's a couple. Uh, so basically, a large beer up, up at the beach here is three euros, or if you translate it to Turkish lira, it's two, it's, it works out at, at two pound fifty, which I think is slightly less than three euros. In general, I was in another place and they, they gave me my change back. I paid in euros. They, they will take anything, by the way. They gave me my change in euros and they done an exchange rate. The exchange rate, obviously, well, it wasn't ridiculous. It was okay. Oh, sorry. Live music down here. Head down here a wee minute. Wait and see if the slide bears. Um, the, the exchange rate wasn't that bad, but 100%, I think, if you're exchanging from euros and British pounds, I think... The answer to the question, the quick question is, what are you best paying with? I think you're best paying the Turkish Lira. So if you can get a good exchange rate at the travel agents, I always just book online at Hayes Travel Agents, it's always easy for me. I go into the office in Newton Mearns or Silverburn, my viewers from Glasgow know that is. Um, staff are really friendly in there and I always just, I always just get get uh, the exchange rate in there, it's pretty, pretty decent to be fair. This is jam packed here, it's a lot quieter now. It's quite late at night now, it's like half eleven at night. Lots of people were sitting on the beach earlier on, done quite a few videos down this way. Um, anyway, so I would bring a mix. I would bring maybe half the money in Turkish Lira if you think you're going to spend it. I've got some Turkish Lira left, I need to spend it by tonight, so I'm just going to buy a couple of beers and get rid of it. Because um, I'm, I'm going to cost in the morning, I'm going to get the ferry to cost. So basically, Turkish Lira, I think you'll get the best value for money, but all the places will be happy to accept euros. They'll also, most of them will take British pounds. Now, not Scottish euros, I don't think they'll take Scottish pounds, so you need to get English uh, notes, which is a bit tricky if you're in Scotland. There's church hills there. Nice in there. Stretches all the way through to, to the beach, right out of the back. Um, lots of nice wee stalls here as well. So I think you're best to bring Turkish Lira if you can, but they will accept almost anything. There's even some places that accept dollars. So any American viewers, they'll accept dollars as well. Um, more in Goombe. I've seen lots of places advertising in Goombe in British pounds. So there's quite a lot of younger viewers in Goombe because they've got the big bar street there. So I think they're more likely to accept pounds as well. So if you've got actual pounds with you, you'll get a decent exchange rate. But it's not going to make a big, massive difference. Most places will accept card. The only thing is about paying by card, unless you've got a, a bank card, but you've got no transaction fees or no foreign currency exchange fees, you might not be best paying by card. Paying by card is not always the best. If you've got a Revolut card, it be a bit better. So, the quick question was, what's the best currency to bring here? I would say Turkish Lira majority, but they will accept anything, you'll be fine. And let me know in the comments, what was the tax about? I, I don't know what's going on there, the tax. Anyway, it's nice down here, isn't it? It's nice. I'm going to head up there for a wee pint and get rid of some of my Turkish Lira. I'll get a wee pint up there for £2.50 sitting on the beach. What's not to like, viewers? We've got Wi Fi. <laughs> Life's good. Okay, thanks for watching, viewers. I really appreciate you watching to the end. Don't forget, hit the wee subscribe button there, it's absolutely free. Doesn't cost a penny.